Collective, welcome back to the channel. This is Heart to Heart with Holy Spirit. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in, fam. I do appreciate you all. I hope you're having a good day and all is well with you. Let's see what Spirit has for you today. What's coming towards you? Oh, lovers came out. Could be a Gemini, a passionate connection, shared visions and values. Okay. All right. So at least we know a lover is coming towards you. That's what Spirit is saying. Okay. Let's go ahead and tap right on in. Okay. So. Keep in mind, I may say he, she, male, female, divine, feminine, divine, masculine. Take your resonates. Energies are fluid and interchangeable. If you resonate with the message all as well, but you don't, please do not make the story. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. All right, let's see what Spirit wants you to know. Let's get it. Let's go. In Jesus' name. Collective, you may have a choice between two lovers or one, but someone is coming towards you. So let's see. Holy Spirit, message of clarity and truth was coming toward the collective. Moving on. Ending that brings a healthy beginning. So you're moving on from something, possibly a lover. You have asked God about this person, okay? Good times come from hard work, time spent in good company. You may be moving on from a lover. You've asked God to help you do so, okay? You know that good times are coming. You had to put the time and the energy into yourself into your path into your journey ahead because you're trying to move on all right look it says that you've connected to the divine through meditation and prayer like i said you've been asking god what's what the deal is pertaining to this situation okay what else holy spirit messages of clarity and truth pay attention to the red flags okay look out for signs from the divine acknowledge the flags yeah there was something off about this lover that was surrounding you. There's a new opportunity coming towards you. It says insights gained from a new experience, job, or partner. You may have found a new partner. Like I said, the lovers is a choice between one or two people. So you may have moved on from a karmic situation into a more divine one, or you're just looking forward to a divine connection in the future. What else? sacrifice it's been a sacrifice to move on giving up something now for a future reward didn't i say that spirit is on today all right you're looking forward you're persevering toward new toward better for yourself you're spreading your wings and you're broadening your horizons all right what else apology forgiveness through mutual understandings a leap of faith success it's time to shine success from what you pour your heart into. So there's an apology coming your way. Spirit is saying that something is going to be successful because you have retreated at this time. You're taking time to invest in yourself, self-care, self-love. You may be going to get your hair done, nails done, having meditation sessions, you know, reading your Bible or taking and investing time into your spiritual walk. Okay. The spirit is saying that you're taking some much needed alone time right now because of the things of the past. The spirit is saying someone is going to be apologizing to you soon or asking for your forgiveness or possibly with apology being here. Spirit may be saying that you're just giving yourself a little grace. OK, you may be apologizing for the things that you did not see or do. What else? dedication stay dedicated to your goals efforts you will reap success yeah i do feel like you're apologizing for the things that you didn't see pertaining to the past okay you're like okay i messed up i effed up okay i got into or entangled myself with an energy that was not for me or meant to go on this walk with me but going forward i'm going to do things differently obsessive focusing too much on one situation the need to take a step back then i say time of reflection is here okay that's where you are you're reflecting on things of the past what you did do what you didn't do things you could have done better things that you needed to look into and take time to process you got twin flame in reverse yep you got entangled with a false flame that's exactly what it is yeah it was deceptive and you had to pull your energy back from it because you recognized and realized this person did not value you and you didn't value yourself by entertaining this type of energy. 
okay? You learned the lesson and I feel like you're moving forward. What else, Holy Spirit? Messages of clarity and truth. What else? What else is the um, collective need to know about this situation? Holy Spirit, tell me more. What else does the collective need to know pertaining to this situation? Messages of clarity and truth for the collective. Mirror. Like I said, reflection, introspection. All right, mirroring each other, self-image, relationships reflect our wounds, introspection. Yeah. You're doing things that a lot of people are not willing to do, to be honest, collective. It's hard to give advice, but take your own advice. And even when you're tapped in with spirit and you're asking God for blessings in the future and a gift of aligned energies that are supposed to be surrounding you it takes healing work it takes shadow work and you're doing the things and the inner work pertaining to yourself in order to attain those blessings in the future a lot of people don't do that they just go from one relationship to the next and you're like no i need to take time to heal i need to tap in focus on my higher self ask god what he wants for me ask am i in alignment you know date Meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, plan to set a date. So you may be dating right now or someone is asking you out on a date or you're just, you know, fresh off this healing journey. And now you're ready to get back on the playing field. And I'm not saying being a player and so your royal oats. I'm talking about just getting back out there to see what's new. You got paradise in reverse, lightning and seduction. Okay. I feel like the things of the past have knocked you off pertaining to your happiness. You couldn't expand with this past twin flame, false flame rather. Okay. They may have took a jab at your happiness, your self-esteem. You couldn't evolve. You may have been stuck and stagnant on your journey. And you soon realize that this person was holding you back from life, okay? You had a spiritual awakening. It says sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation, seduction, third party, temptation, interference. This person was meant to keep you stuck and stagnant in a position. And God wanted more for you. They wanted you to move on with your life. And they wanted you to be in an aligned position. And now you realize that you had to give up those deceptive things. You're no longer the girl with the snake or the man with the snake. Take it where it resonates. Healthy choices are in reverse. Okay. So you may have not made a healthy choice with this false flame. And you realize that it wasn't love at all. What else? Yeah, hand of cards, taking a risk, being strategic, options, not showing hand, gambling. Spirit is saying that you took a risk on this person. They didn't show you their hand, all right? But you put your guard up with this person. They hurt you. You avoided communication with this person as well. You are still angry, but you put your boundaries up. This person may still reach out to you as well. You got twin flames. I can't make it up, all right? Grim, yeah, you got twin flames and you got Grim Reaper over. You put it into that twin flame connection because you knew it wasn't divine. It wasn't even a twin flame relationship. This person was a karmic. No second chances. You're growing and transforming in your journey. And you're moving on to new and better. A upper level soulmate. A, you know, someone who's aligned. Where, where are you trying to be? You're embracing it. Yeah, because you don't want to be backstabbed. You want you don't want to be deceived. You don't want to be anybody's option either. One more. Yeah, stability, security, performance, growth, endurance, and flexibility. That's what you're on right now. You're trying to expand. Move on to new. Thinking from a different perspective. Especially when it comes to the people that you involve yourself with. You just want to be around genuine people, period. Okay, so let's see. What else, Holy Spirit? Mm. Let's see what this 
twin flame was on. This false flame. Holy Spirit, tell me more about this false flame. Spirit is saying this person was aggressive with you. Possibly very controlling and possessive. Tempers may be high during this time. You may be prone to passionate outbursts. So maybe you guys were disconnected. And you didn't have healthy communication in the past. This person took you out of character as well. Holy Spirit, tell me more about this false flame. Social time. You will receive invitations to interact with others socially, online and offline. Maybe you felt like your person was having entanglements on social media or third parties that you found out about on social media. This person was linking up with a lot of bad energies or they had a lot of people around them or that were not good influences that's what i'm getting yeah it was a roadblock that's what spirit is saying this situation has reached a stalemate the only option is to turn away you had to move away from this person but the person i'm asking who's coming towards you this person may be trying to come back into your energy jealousy good luck came out sideways this person is jealous of something and i do feel like they're jealous of your new perspective and how you're moving all right things will go in your favor they don't want things to go in your favor you got predator right behind it okay someone sees you as a target and plans to come in for the kill think on your toes so spirit is saying that this person wants to retaliate against you because you moved away from them they felt like they had a spiritual connection with you or they felt like they possessed you. You may be drained and need to spend time alone to restore and cleanse your energy. Release. I told you you let go of this person to gain your zen. You may be around water a lot. You possibly traveled, got away, took a mini vacation alone or with friends to cleanse yourself. You may have been taking spiritual baths as well as what I'm doing. A lot of water could be dealing with a water sign. Bad juju. Huh. Someone is sending negative energy towards you. This person I feel like is sending the evil eye towards you as well. Because like I said, this person knows that you gave them the boot. And they don't like it. It's time to put your foot down and move on. Stand up for yourself. That's exactly what you did. All right. Yeah. And you didn't take action toward things that were not conducive to a healthy relationship. Like you just told them this is not working. Let's see what uh, bad energy they're sending towards you. Okay. I'm going to get the protect your energy deck by vibe about it on Etsy. He has a YouTube channel, Virtual Reality 9 on YouTube. Let's see. Holy Spirit, what bad energy are they sending to our collective? But we already rebuke it in the name of Jesus over her. You know, I don't know who you believe in. That's who I believe in. But we rebuking it from around you, collective. You know, no weapon formed against you is going to prosper. Just know that. All right. They can't do nothing to you because you are protected. Period. The end. All right. Bad juju. What is this? What are they trying to send toward the collective? Get rich quick schemes, multiple levels, marketing schemes. This person may come in telling you that they've come into some type of money or they have a new idea on how to build with you. If you are a person who is in business for yourself, an entrepreneur, or have some type of uh, connection to a marketing career, this person feels like they can level up with you. They want to show you by building this that they can be on your side or show some type of loyalty. But see, Spirit is saying that this person is going after people who are similar to you. Dates look alike. Can we say type anyone? This person has a type. Not only are they doing this to you, they're doing this to other people who they feel like is similar to you, look like you, have the same drive as you. Something like that, okay? Alright, let's see what these are. 
unforgiving, unwilling to forgive or excuse people's faults or wrongdoings. Like I said, this person wants to retaliate. This person is a predator. Name drops. I once dated a guy who was a cousin of Kanye West, 100th removed. So this person name drops. They try to get clout off of people who they surround themselves with or it's people of people that they know. Okay, and because they know people that are in high places, they name drop in order to make themselves look better. Like it adds, they feel like it adds value to them as a person. Like it's crazy. Um, nepotism, personal connections and playing favorites. Sibling rivalry, animosity, and competitiveness. This person um, looks at you as competition. They look at you as a person who has drive just like them, but theirs is a negative drive. They want to compete with you. If they come into you with this new idea, this get rich quick scheme, this person is out to compete with you. As soon as they feel like they're on your level, they're going to demean you. On the fence, too many options and can't decide. This person is always in and out, back and forth in their mind. They're confused and feel like they have multiple options, multiple avenues. You're not the only avenue. This person wants to use you to, to tap back into your energy. Look, sleeping with the boss. Literally sleeping their way up to the top. I can't make it up. And you're just one of the pawns that they want to play with. That they feel like they can move around. Like you're a puppet on the string or something like that. Like, no. As soon as they get into your energy with this little scheme or whatever. And then whenever they feel like they're on your level or surpass you, they're going to run away. And take all the credit for it. And they feel like they can get into your energy, sleep with you, make money with you, use you. And then it's like nothing ever happened. This person is a false flame. They're a mask. They have on a mask. Get a couple more and then I'm going to give you guys some advice. Sticks to the script, period. Does not deviate or become a divergent. Like I said, this person does one thing one way with multiple people. It's the same. Sleeping their way up to the top. Name dropping. Saying how they can make money with somebody. It's just like they feel like they have an S on their chest. Like they can manifest. But they need other people to do their dirty work. They need other people to step on their shoulders and toes. In order to get in high positions. You're not the person to play with. And you saw through them. Boastful. Excessive pride and self-satisfaction. Yeah, they're selfish. They only want what they want. Self-gratification. Okay? This person will do anything to get wherever they feel like they need to be. And they'll use whoever. Alright? Gets off on gossip. Sips tea while smiling as long as it's not about them and this person will literally talk to you very lovingly in your face and as soon as you leave the room they're talking against you they're listening smiling if somebody's demeaning you or talking about you in a negative light this person is not defending you okay this person is going with the flow all right so let me get you guys some advice and we're gonna end the reading Holy Spirit, messages of clarity and truth. What's the advice for the collective on who's coming toward him? Spirit is saying, ground yourself. It says, when you detach from awareness of your body and physical world, you become ungrounded. Although it's pleasant to afloat heavenward, your attention and work are needed upon the earth. We're helping you balance the spiritual and material so that you can enjoy fulfilling earthly life. Shower of abundance. <laughs> To heal your financial situation, first give us your worries concerning money. We will guide you in order to show you how to create and accept abundance. As we work together, your financial situation will heal as fast as you will allow. You don't need this person to gain abundance. Okay? I don't care what this person comes to you with. Any proposition they put before you is a lie. All right, it's a scheme. It's not going to work. It's going to falter and fail. Spirit is saying, rely on your spiritual team surrounding you in order to get where you need to get. You don't need this person. Spirit is saying, you need to cut the cords with this person. Disconnect your energy. Ask Archangel Michael to clear any old attachments to fear that stem from past relationships. 
freeing you from destructive patterns. If your pattern is going back to old energies because you feel like you lack something, get rid of it. Ask God to remove it from you. You don't need this person. Cut the cords, release, clear your energy, cancel this person, period. Okay, let me get this on the floor. I hope this message brought you guys a lot of clarity and advice. I will see you guys in the next reading. Don't forget to like the video. Click the notification bell if you want to be notified on when I make a post. And comment below if you resonate with the message. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next reading. Until next time, my lovely hearts. All right. Bye.